what happened to you? Like you said, I have no clue. I woke up at 4.15 in the morning. I was on my hands and knees in the middle of my bedroom floor. We just heard a very loud bang. And blood was just pouring out of my head. Right behind the camera back here. And I don't know why it's haunted. I don't know what makes things be here. You also do have my permission to use our energy. When you leave, you believe. <laughs> A lot of people that come here have experienced things in their earlier life and they're all trying to find answers to what it is and what causes it. In 2004, there used to be a grocery store next door and I'd come down to the grocery store and seen the building was empty and windows busted out and it looked terrible. I went home and asked my wife, I said, uh, can I show you something? So I brought her down and showed her the place. We had a lot of big plans here, what we could do here and live here and everything else. So we went with it. It just ended up being our house. Never knew anything about the paranormal. Didn't know anything here was haunted or anything like that. You see something, it's just your eyes playing tricks on you. Or you hear noises, it's just a big old building, it's gonna make noises, you know. The guy working for me said he's seen a ghost upstairs. I'm like, you're crazy, there ain't no such thing as ghosts, you know. And dogs, possums, things that get in here. And he said, dude, you ain't gonna catch this. I said, we'll catch it, I don't get in the room, shut the door, and he, you're not gonna catch it. And I said, well, if I can't catch it, I'll shoot it. group of people, that's what they do, like on TV. And he talked me into letting them come in. They set up all this equipment and stuff, and every question they asked, they got a response to. This is a room where we've had a lot of activity when we first came here. There was a night that we had a group here, and uh, one of the guys wanted to come down here and actually test this out. Pulled on it, it wouldn't do anything. Did it again, said, hey, could you let me in? Pulled on the door, nothing. Well, as soon as he did it the second time, Daryl and I both heard a little girl behind the door say something in a very like sing-songy way, and it said, Mommy and Daddy said. I was thinking, they're trying to trick me. They're trying to make me think there's something here. So I looked at Daryl and he looked at me and we were like, you heard that, right? Like, I'm not just like, my mind's not playing tricks on me. He's like, yeah, I absolutely heard that. So I pushed the guy out of the way. I flung the door open and came into the dry goods room. And then again, Mommy and Daddy said, well, we went up there, we searched around in that room, and there was nothing in there. It exploded from there. Is there somebody in the room behind me? That's There's something in there. A lot of the paranormal groups tell me that uh, when you pass, if you don't cross over, you go where you were the happiest. And I guess in elementary school was one of the happier places in a lot of kids' lives. Now to me, I don't feel like there's nothing demonic here. If there was something bad here, I don't think me and my family could have lived here for 14 years. We've had a lot of audio, a lot of audio, and quite a bit of video. Can you make a sound for me now? Thank you. And pictures and things of uh, full body apparitions, shadows. So basically we've had um, groups capture uh, shadows in this hallway. This is the actual, this is the teacher's hallway. Yeah, we get a lot of uh, footsteps in this area. People have caught some good EVPs. He's actually caught shadows walking down this and going in to the principal's room. We were filming at the end of this hallway and we had the camera on the ground. Well, we lost our voice recorder. All of a sudden you see what looks like a dark shadow cross this door like this. And then once it gets to about here, it blankets almost like a cape and falls through the floor. You have to be a skeptic in what we do. But when you saw this shadow, it was one of the craziest things I've ever seen out of this building. I don't know how to explain it.
you got to put yourself in the element of where you're investigating. And here you're dealing with mostly kids, so it's like you play games with them, you act like you're at school time, you get a lot more interaction back from them when you do it like that. There's a story about a girl that went to school here that actually had um, fallen from the very top, which is about three floors, and fell all the way to the floor here. Um, they say she didn't die here, but she actually died later at home from her injuries that she sustained here. I like, can never find any records on it, but I have had people come through here saying that when they went to school here, they do remember hearing the story about that. So I, I have personally caught on EVP. Um, it sounds like a little girl almost um, falling down the stairwell. Like it's like she's she was really close to the recorder. Then all of a sudden the screen got a little bit further away like she was falling. I'm probably the only one I know of that anything bad's ever happened to, and I should say bad, but like I have some pictures. I won't point to this wall over here. That head with the four holes in it across the forehead, that's me. That was at 4.15 in the morning. I got one door in here, room 109, has opened four times, and all four times that door has opened on its own. Something bad happens to me that night. Specify that door, I can go over and try to let you open it, and you can't open that door. It's swelled up, it sticks so tight, you have to go inside the room and kick it as hard as you can. And that was the one that would basically open on its own. I don't know if it's like a, a portal or something people try to explain to me that things can come and go as they please. And me and my wife went through the bedroom trying to find something, you know, if I fell out of the bed or if I got up and walked around headbutting something, and we couldn't find anything that could make them four holes in my head in the bedroom. I think if you guys have things attached to you, like spirits of some kind, and right now they're in here with you and they're feeling comfortable, when you leave, they may stay here. If you come here and you're not at least a little bit open-minded, those kind of people, what I'm saying by that, I've had people come here that are like that. They will not open themselves up and you're sitting here talking to them and they didn't see nothing, they don't believe in this. Some people never admit or say what they actually feel or experience. I always make a joke saying to, to make this place really famous, I need a demon because everybody wants something bad. But I don't want nothing bad here. And this sounds crazy, but I feel so comfortable here. It's like, I don't want to say I'm becoming one with the building. I ain't what I mean by that. I could stay here forever. I don't ever want to leave here. I don't want to go anywhere. It's like, I take care of this building and this building helps take care of me.